Could Magic Plan make scanning in 2025 any easier? Let's talk more about that. Everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. Hope everyone's having a great start to 2025. I know that we are over here at Magic Plan. We have a really exciting update for you today regarding our scanning feature. Made a couple of improvements that I'd like to discuss and demonstrate for you here today. Number one, after you've completed your scan, all of those objects that you've scanned, you can now select or deselect which category of objects you want to include in your floor plan. This makes it so your floor plan can be a little bit cleaner if you don't care about all of the chairs and tables and things like that that you scan during the process. Secondly, in the past, if you had not completely scanned a room, you might have had some issues. Maybe you need to restart the scan or the scan looked a little bit off when it was uploaded into the floor plan. We've got you covered now. If you scan 95% of a room and you leave a small little portion of a wall unscanned, Magic Plan will prompt you and allow you to complete that room anyways, and it will complete the wall for you. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna swap over to this camera over here and show you how that looks. Oh, hey, how's it going? So let's jump right into the scan. I have a third floor right here. I'm gonna add a room, start auto scan. And you'll see some instructions here. I'll click begin. We'll just call this a conference room. Point at the top edge of a wall. And you see the scan starting as normal. So this is where we do our recording and I'm gonna intentionally leave a little bit of that wall right behind me unfinished. Let's see, I don't know if I can capture that window because it's behind that. But let's just go ahead, hey Fernando. And you'll see only a little bit of that wall. So you see it says your room might be incomplete, finish anyways, because I didn't scan the middle portion of this wall. I'll click finish anyway. It's processing. And you'll see that I have this dotted line right here showing the wall that was not completely scanned. I'll go ahead and confirm scan because that looks correct. Click done. And now I get to select and deselect which objects I want to include. So you see it's just a checkbox. You can remember your choices. I don't care about furniture for this scan. So I'll just go ahead and generate floor plan. And you'll see I have the door. I have the one window. It didn't capture that window because there was something blocking it. But it created the scan for me. Measurements look correct. And I didn't even scan that entire wall. This is the same situation that you might encounter out in the field. The idea here is to help you guys get a little bit more efficient. In case you have a small little mistake in your scan, we don't want that to hinder you and have you start all over just because of that one small little mistake. All right. Well, we hope that you enjoyed the video today and I hope that that was helpful. We're really excited to see how this helps you guys in the field. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Otherwise, like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates in the future. Have a great day.